Yo, 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 <laughs> we back, baby, we back, I'm Kid Dustin, and I'm Mookie Dustin, and we back at y'all with another reaction video, man, y'all know I had COVID, man, I got the COVID bush, what's up, I wasn't man? coming over here, <laughs> I wasn't coming <laughs> My bad ain't been over here. We went there with new videos, but we finally back. And this one, the first videos on my list, bro. Y'all been asking me to react to this go like crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's called A Clueless American Guide to the Premier League. Right. So I think this like where the popular football clubs be playing mm -hmm. that. I know people in the comments such always say, yo, you got to react to the Premier League teams. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I heard Manchester in there, Liverpool. Okay. I don't know all the teams, though. But look, man, we back. So if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. We almost at 10K, man. Almost, baby. At the 10K, I told y'all, man, I'm going to drop a basketball video. It's going to be a special video, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all might find out the brand I'm coming out with. It's going to be amazing, man. So y'all just got to stick with me, stick with me. I appreciate everybody that showed all the love, bro. Right. We ain't going to hold y'all too long. So let's get straight into this video. All right. America. I see you might have heard of this Premier League from across the... Oh, hello there, fellow Americans. I see you might have heard of this Premier League from across the old pond. And I know, as Americans, we are conditioned to naturally dislike the British. I get it. They're kind of weird. But let me ask you this. How many of you motherfuckers grew up loving Harry Potter? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I mean, the proof is in the numbers. There are more Harry Potter worlds in America than there are in goddamn England. You know how many Harry Potter worlds are in England? Zero. You know how many in America? Dos. Both Ooh. conveniently located on opposite ends of the country. And you know what? They're awesome. I can't even lie. Have you tried their frozen butterbeer? It's goddamn delicious. And the bottle ones that you can bring home, they're, they're shit. Don't, don't waste your money on that. Don't get those. Sorry, tangent. Okay, butter but I, I say all this because I know. I know for a fact that y'all grew up fantasizing about which Hogwarts house you would be sorted into. Maybe some of you embarrassingly played Quidditch in real life. And don't act like you didn't have the biggest crush on Emma Watson growing up. <laughs> so obviously, you like Hold a on, British yeah. export or... You laughing? What, you had a crush on Sean? Emma Watson was, she was a nice looking girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this shorty from the Harry Potter. Yes, uh, uh, that was rolling with him. It was yes, too uh, well. Yes, yeah, I ain't never get She that. wasn't my favorite. I do have a, a, a favorite. Right. Jeanette McCurdy. That's my favorite. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Two. And you know what other British export you might enjoy? How about the best goddamn sports league outside of America? Oof. But I mean, you know, what are we competing against here? Chinese basketball? The Spanish League? Or La Liga, as they call it? Okay, I'll admit that La Liga was fucking lit when it was Ronaldo and Messi dueling every uh -oh. season. But that era is over, <laughs> and Messi's team is accessible now, so nope. I'm out, Shark Tank. And yeah, the Italian and German leagues are pretty dope too, but you and me, we're American. Let's be honest with ourselves. We probably only speak English. And don't kid yourself that it'll help you learn Italian. No, shut the f up. We are Americans. We love convenience above everything. So much so <laughs> that we sent Jeff Bezos this into space crazy, and man. we couldn't afford to leave him there. <laughs> and the premiership is just the most convenient choice. We only speak English. So sadly, that narrows it down to literally the English. But have no fear because the membership is pretty dope. It's easily the most accessible league outside of America. Mostly all the coaches, all the athletes speak English, all the pundits and the analysis is in English. It is their version of the NFL, if you will, the most popular, the most bombastic, entertaining sports league in their country. And I know how much you love the NFL season. You know what's better than one NFL season? How about two? And in this sport, you don't have to feel guilty about them getting CTE for the most part. <laughs> Sorry. I know. It's like concussions don't exist in Europe. Good thing they don't have to use their head. Oh, Ooh. boom. All right. And just think about it, man. Another roll of the Cosmic Dice. And if you were born over there, you would absolutely love Manchester United the same way you love the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. And if you grew up hating the Dallas Cowboys, you would have grown up hating Manchester United just the same. Same, <laughs> but different. It's all the elements you know and love now with new international flavor. The characters, storylines, drama, stakes, history, it's all here, baby. Wow. And honestly, I think the reason why this hasn't caught on earlier here in America is simply before the internet, we had no way of watching the shit live. But now you can pretty much follow any team in the world completely off of Instagram or TikTok. Plus out of the major sports leagues outside of America, I would say that the Premiership is the most competitive, it's the most physical, and in my wow. humble opinion, the most entertaining mm. league. And hold it uses on, this bro. clever hold little hack. Hold on, hold on already. I'm locked in. And what I mean by locked in, I'm amazed by this video so far, bro. He making this league seem like the most amazing league. Like it's the like it's the NBA of yeah. all the leagues. You Anything, know bro. Yeah, like it's the best league out of all the football leagues around. 
Mm. Now, I know it's a lot, bro. I know it's a lot. Mm. Ever since we watched that, uh, that football video on the rules. Yeah, all the, them leagues. The What is it? The UEFA, the L EPL. Right. And, and the, there's a lot bro, of different leagues. When the dudes were saying about relegation and everything, bro, they said, man, they be so excited when their team move up. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But once they get bumped down, they never have a chance probably to get back up to the top. They say they do take financial disasters, yeah, losses. Terrible, bro. It's the man, it's like you said, bro, they plan for their life over. Plan for their life. So I wonder this league right here, how do you get into this league or teams is already formed into right, this league? Right, right. Is it relegation in this in this league, mm-hmm. bro? Let us know in the comment section, man. Or we gonna fa- figure it out during this video, I guess act that Americans might be familiar with that somehow make a long 38 game season compelling from start to finish for the most part but let's say you've never gotten into soccer or football as they call it over there I know idiots as an American (laughs) who the hell do you even root for if you don't even have a connection to the country where do you even begin in picking a team should I just go for one of the big boys and be a glory hunter or do I go the hipster route and follow one of the up and coming teams well have no fear my muggle friend because I was where you were about 15 years ago. And over that time, I have grown to love the Premiership even more than I love baseball, which is not really saying much. (laughs) Through my years of growing to love this league, let me go ahead and be your guide, your sorting hat, if you will. I'm gonna give you the lowdown on all the houses and see which one has the traits that you might like. And hopefully by the end of this video, I will help you have a new sports team and a brand new sports league that will be giving you entertainment for the rest of your lifetime. Welcome to a Clueless American's Guide to the Premier League. All right, so as an American, this is very exciting because this is probably your first chance you ever had to pick a sports team from scratch. But there's so many choices. Where the F do I start? <laughs> well, first, I'm going to keep it real with you. Pick a big team, okay? Don't be, don't be prideful. Just think about it, okay? Why would you put yourself through more torture than the teams that you already follow? <laughs> your team always lets you down. It always breaks your heart. Dear God, especially if you're a Cleveland Browns fan, if you're a New York Jets fan, why do you even have pride? <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Just root for Manchester City. You've been through enough, bro. You deserve this, bro. I let you live in Boston or the Bay Area, someplace that shit championships out their asshole. Then do not feel guilty at all about picking a top six team to follow. Nobody's going to label you a bandwagon fan in America. But I also know that some of you guys are masochists. You don't want to be a normie and follow these top six teams. So I will sprinkle in some sleepers at the end. But as a resident sorting hat for this video, uh... I'm just going to say it right now. The easy choice for the majority of Americans is to root for Chelsea. Chelsea. There's just so many okay. obvious reasons for Americans to root for Chelsea this year. One, they got Christian Pulisic, which is probably the biggest reason that any American will root for a team. And it also helps that they're pretty good. They just won the Champions League, which is the most prestigious soccer tournament in Europe. And the fucking cherry on top, they also have the most lovable man in all of sports. I, of course, I'm talking about N'Golo Conte. If you want to see the backstory on that, check out this video up in the eye thingy. So pretty much <laughs> Chelsea the, uh, slam dunk pick for I'd say 80% of Americans. All right, video done, right? Well, not so quick because, you know, there there are also a couple of negatives with the positives here. Their coach, while tactically brilliant, is hyper, hyper defensive and conservative. And the dude has this really weird, like, Snape-Harry Potter relationship with Christian Pulisic. Like, I don't know if he likes him or not. And half the time he doesn't even start. So I know that's gonna frustrate a lot of American fans. And also, Chelsea is kind of known as like the rich assholes club. Yeah, Chelsea is, is located in one of the poshest parts of London, and they were spank ass mediocre until a Russian oligarch who might have ties with the KGB bought up the club and used his oil money to go on a shopping spree for all the best players. Oh. Basically, turned Chelsea. What's the KGB? I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> What's trying the KGB? To, let us know in the comments section what the KGB is. I'm trying to keep up with this guy. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> he's rolling right now. <laughs> he ain't stopping for nobody. He's going so fast, <laughs> man. He going off, but what I got so far from right. it, uh, Chelsea, one of the best clubs. Right. You found me, what, in the Premier League? Premier League. Premier League. Yeah, Premier you League. found me. They yeah. one of the best clubs. Right. Um, The coach. Like one of the players too much, he overhyped, yeah, overacting. Yeah. So and what I got from it is he 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 doesn't like the you know one of the star players that much. Right. So it could be one of them. I'm on you so much because I know you great right. type I of situations. Yeah. Or it could be. I know. just don't like you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I just don't like you. But yeah, it's man. Crazy. Go ahead, man. I'm trying to. I got. I wish he could talk a little slower. <laughs> Into a super team overnight. And now that I've said all this. 
it does kind of sound cool. Like, it sounds like a like a posh Bond villain's team. Like, it's kind of badass. Damn it, I am selling Chelsea too much. Okay, well, the, the reason why I'm upset about this is, full disclosure, I am a Manchester United fan. I'm obviously <laughs> going to want you to root for my team. And if I could pitch Manchester United to all of y'all, it would be, don't do it. Do not, I repeat, do not do it. Do not become a Manchester United fan. I know you recognize the name, and yes, in the 90s and 2000s, they were incredible. The most successful club in English history. More league titles than anyone. The motherfuckers were House Gryffindor. Well, and our fan base still okay, thinks that we're Gryffindor. Yeah. But honestly, we are Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff! Because the new ownership came in and just poisoned everything, man. Mm. It has been a turd sandwich for the past <laughs> decade. But if I could counterpoint it, they also happen to have one of the most exciting young attacking cores in world football. Mm. And on top of that, they just got Jaden Sancho. Yet another attacking prodigy who might be better than all of them. Mm. Think of the squad like the San Francisco 49ers. They both look good in red and white. They have a long history of championships and they haven't won anything in a while. But they also got a hyper talented young core of players that if it all comes together, it could turn into like this new golden era. But more likely, it's going to turn to shit for whatever reason. And that is my honest pitch as, as a Man United fan for the past decade. Probably don't do it, but if you do, at least now, no one will call you a glory hunter. And that should tell you everything you need to know about Manchester United, goddammit. <laughs> All right, let's now talk about Manchester United's biggest rivals and maybe the best team in the league when healthy. Of Liverpool. course, I'm talking about Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, biggest thing for Americans, this is the team that LeBron partially owns, so for all real? LeBron dick riders, you have found new dicks to sit on. Congratulations. And to the million more LeBron haters, you have now found the team that you will love to hate. But objectively... Wow. <laughs> That's why when he said LeBron... Uh... <laughs> That's probably your favorite team. Or That's something. probably his favorite team. Yo, hold, hold on, dog. Right. LeBron in the football? Yeah, you know LeBron football. just be everywhere, don't he? Hey, bro. Yeah, LeBron. Whenever be everywhere. Nike takes him. <laughs> that was a billionaire for real, bro. Yeah. Never even knew that about LeBron, man. He probably go to games and all that. Yep. Sit in the sky box, watch the football games. Probably a big fan of football. That's we never great. even knew. Never, never know that. Never know. They are a fantastic choice. Like, I want to shit on, but I know what Americans like. They are wildly exciting. They're hardworking. They got swag for days. And their coach is as likable as he is ruthless. They also are owned by Americans. Oh, and on top of all that, they're pretty fucking good. They won the Champions League two seasons ago, and the season prior to this, they won the league, ending like this huge trophy drought for them. And they got the history, man. Liverpool were the team of the 80s. They were just absolutely dominating everything. But uh, for the past, like, 30 years, they've, they've kind of toiled in mediocrity. That is, until their coach came along, Mr. Jurgen Klopp. And this German wizard, might as well goddamn been Dumbledore. He worked magic. <laughs> you know, Chelsea just came in with their KGB oligarch and just bought up all the best players. That's not what Liverpool did, man. Old Kloppy over here actually did his homework. He made excellent frugal signings that blossomed mm. into world-class talents. And he transformed the club through tactics and scouting instead of just overpaying millions for talent. They did it the right way. And because of that, honestly, they at the moment are House Gryffindor. So all you fucking normies, here's your club. All aboard. Fucking Liverpool. Cards Plug is the number one producer of football cards in the world. What is a football card? This is a football card. <laughs> well, you gotta be so goddamn likable. But what about the defending champions? And undoubtedly, the team of the past decade in the Premier League. Yeah, it's time to talk about Manchester City. They are the new money, but you've already heard the story. New billionaire owners come in, this time from Abu Dhabi. And uh, yeah, they got oil money as well. And they pretty much did what Chelsea did a decade before. Now, before these new owners, Man City were pretty much an afterthought of a club, living perpetually in the shadow of the Crosstown Giants, Manchester United. Even though they're both teams in the same town, they weren't even considered Crosstown rivals. That is how far the gap was historically between the two clubs. But, um... Spending over a billion dollars and bringing in Ooh. superstars three deep at every single position on your team, that can change things and change things rapidly. And on top of that, they went and hired the guy who used to coach Messi. And what has all of this resulted in? Yep, more Premier League trophies than anyone else over the past 10 years. Ooh. Think of them as the Golden State Warriors of soccer. And their wow. fan bases are pretty much the same. They both didn't exist until six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> And even though I said all of this, yeah, they're the ultimate bandwagon team for you to hop on, I want to take this moment to say that, um, fucking just do it, bro. Live a little.
Because here's the thing, as an American, nobody is going to give you shit for a team you choose. Because anytime I've ever come across another Premier League fan in America, we're just happy that another one of us exists. And furthermore, all the people from the UK that I've dealt with, when I tell them I'm a Man United fan, they don't really give me shit either. Nobody really cares. You don't have any hometown loyalties or, or family to link you to any of these clubs. So just follow who you want to follow. Do yourself a favor, Detroit Lions fans. <laughs> I already know you like a team that plays in a light blue jersey, That's but crazy. wouldn't you like to watch a team in a light blue jersey that wins all the time? Like, haven't you been through enough? You deserve it, bro. Do it. No one's gonna give you shit. And if they do, fuck them. There are very few things in the world that matter less than other people's opinions, especially on the sports teams you support. Now, I'm not saying go be a bandwagon fan, but you know, pick the horse with the better odds. All right, but you might be seeing a little bit of a trend here. Billionaire comes in and just buys the league. What's, what's even intriguing about that? And yeah, that's the other thing that you gotta kind of get used to when it comes to world soccer, and that is there are no salary caps. Like, yeah, there's financial fair play, but that shit's a fucking joke. It's more like financial slap on the wrist at best. So yeah, there isn't actually too much to stop all these billionaires coming in and just out spending, out spending, out spending. And sadly, that's that's usually how the Premier League is won. I'm gonna keep it real, <laughs> except for maybe one of the greatest underdog stories in sports history. It's time to talk about Leicester. And yes, it is pronounced Leicester. I know, the <laughs> British are stupid. They spelt it like Leicester, <laughs> and then they think we're weird when we pronounce it that way. Who spells it like this and pronounce it like Lester? <laughs> Lester is the name of my cousin from Alabama, all right? That's a Lester. This is a Leicester. But uh, sports hipsters, kids who shopped at Hot Topic, this is your team, bro. This is your team. Lester is the Premier League team that all the football kind of soars follow <laughs> because they really are a miracle story of the football pyramid in England. Now, another major difference that Americans need to wrap their head around is that the Premier League actually has multiple divisions. And at the end of the season, the bottom three teams with the lowest amount of points get relegated, which means they get sent. There you go. That's not what I asked them. <laughs> but how many teams is in? Because I only hear him talk about, he say something about like no, six no, teams. Bro, he, ain't say, he only said something about how many teams? Six. Six? Yeah. He only said something about like 16. I don't know where I'm getting 38 from. You think he said something about 38 teams? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm, I'm, getting the number 38. I, I might just be going crazy. I right. don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping right I now. mean, no, I think he said something about like the six top teams. Mm -hmm. It might not be like the actual. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's how it works. So the Premier League, how you say it? Premier. Premier League. Premier League is one of the best leagues in football. What mm -hmm. I'm getting basically. Basically. Family. That's like what the I mean. NFL or the, mm -hmm. or the football or the NBA, MLB, the greatest. Right. So. so. But I'm thinking you can still get relegated in this league too. That's a thing. And even how much money they were spending on the players. Yeah, they got bread. 33 million. No, bro. When they had that E next to it, that's pounds. That's worth more than the U.S. dollar. That's crazy. Crazy, bro. The European pound is worth more than the U.S. dollar. That's wild. Ugh. Go ahead. So they was getting that gym. money. They was getting that yeah. money. Down in division, and then the top three teams from the lower division come up. And if I'm going to be honest, the teams that come up, they usually go right back down. Because they're not very good. <laughs> they're usually shit. Like, most of the teams that just make it into the Premier League, they're happy to be there for a season. And that's what a lot of people thought Leicester were. But Cousin Leicester came all the way from the third division of English Ooh, football, made it into the Premier tough. League, barely survived their first season there, and then the next season won the whole goddamn thing. That's For someone crazy. who's unfamiliar That's with good. this, the odds at the start of the season were 5,000 to 1. Mm. To put that into perspective, the Jets winning the Super Bowl next season would be less surprising. <laughs> and this wasn't some typical oil baron coming in, buying up all the best players. No! They just happened to scout and moneyball their way into this weird, like, island of misfit toys but it worked they were magical sensational people were playing out of their minds wow. and it was the stuff of dreams they slayed all the giants and they won the whole goddamn thing and it wasn't even a fluke because since then they've been competitive they've been challenging for a top four spot ever since mm. even with a lot of the bigger teams coming in and kind of picking off their best players and they really are almost impossible not to hey. wow. for the harry potter fans they are the Neville Longbottom of the Premiership. <laughs> they started off all frumpy. Everybody was making fun of them. But at the end of the day, they might be the real chosen one, bro. And Potterheads <laughs> will get that. 
So while I started all this saying like, hey, you should probably pick a big team, I wouldn't fault you for following one of these smaller squads. Because if we go down the list, Chelsea was a nothing team until Oil Barons came in, same thing with Man City. And then you got Leicester who did it the right way. So, you know, Giants can emerge from pretty much anywhere. So who knows? But all right, moving on to the next big team. Let's talk about Tottenham Hotspur. And yes, it is pronounced Tottenham, not Tottenham. The language is named <laughs> after you, English. Use it correctly for once. I don't understand. As a fat American, why would you not emphasize the ham? I would like to go to Tottenham <laughs> and order a Tottenham. It sounds delicious. But if I were to describe Spurs in the terms of Harry Potter characters, they are definitely Ron Weasley. Just always a secondary character and kind of insecure about it. But I actually really like Spurs. Their logo is a chicken, which is always dope. And they got my kimchi cousin, Hugman's son, who is a lightning bolt out there on the way. In mm. fact, they might have a more talented roster top to bottom than even Manchester United. But for whatever reason, they're just cursed to never win it all. They are the Buffalo Bills. They get to the oh, cusp man. many a time and then blue balls. As Spurs <laughs> fans are watching this, I, I have some advice to you. You should learn from the Bills fans. For you guys who don't know, quick history lesson about the Bills. They went to four consecutive yes, Super did. Bowls yes, and did. lost four consecutive That's Super Bowls. That's it tough. was pretty much their entire identity. And point. now nobody freaking talks about it because all Bills fans do is put themselves through tables. Ugh. It's genius, actually. <laughs> so I guess what I'm saying is uh, Tottenham fans, put yourself through some tables and eat some fucking meat. But now let's talk about Tottenham's arch rival, and that is Arsenal. Now, Arsenal... If they were a Harry Potter character, they would be Voldemort. But not like badass Final Form Voldemort. No, 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 no. I mean, like, remember when, like, Voldemort was on the back of the head of that, like, weird turban dude? <laughs> like, he used to be this invincible offensive juggernaut, but now he's just, like, this mangled husk of what he used to be. That's Arsenal. That Grammarly does more than catch errors. With Grammarly, you can find really good, no, perfect work. That's Arsenal now. Like back in the day, in the 90s, they were literally invincible. They had a perfect unbeaten season. They got a lot of draws in there, but invincible is invincible. And they played this wildly attractive offensive football. I mean, literally their badge is a cannon and they are named Arsenal. So mm. I know a lot of you gun nut Americans, this is pretty much your team. But uh, fair warning, ever since the 90s, it's just kind of been downhill, bro. It's just kind of been downhill and limbo at right. best. But I would argue that being an Arsenal fan is different from almost any other fandom in the Premier League. And that is because it is often more entertaining when Arsenal loses wow. than when they win. That's and the crazy. simple reason for that is because they have, by far, the most entertaining fan channel on YouTube. <laughs> Let me present to you Arsenal Fan TV. You know, the best thing about today is the fact that I couldn't see any of it because I'm blind, so <laughs> fucking brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Third game of the season, we've conceded eight goals. Medea, yeah? I'm breathing. Live and fucking kicking. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what the world? What are you doing? Yo, yo, oh, so, yo, is this they fans? Yeah, bro, these they fans. Yo. So that's why I made Van says more entertaining. <laughs> because they crazy over there, bro. Y'all don't play no games over there, man. <laughs> That's what my man said. Who am I? Third game of the season, we've conceded eight goals. Medea, yeah? I'm breathing. Live and fucking kicking. <laughs> so while it might be a shit show all season crazy. long, win, lose, draw, you will definitely be entertained as an Arsenal fan. And that is kind of it for like the big... I guess six-ish, seven-ish teams. But I guess I should go over a couple of sleepers real quick. All right, so first up, Everton. They're also known as the Toffees. They're a proud, historic club that are Liverpool's crosstown rivals, actually. But they kind of always finish mid-table and never really challenge for anything. Damn. So basically, they're like the Weasley brother, but the one that dies. Burnley. Just think, if Hagrid were a team, that's Burnley. West Ham. Notoriously violent fan base. Oh, West Ham, I And they also oh. blow bubbles and sing about blowing bubbles before every home match. <laughs> Newcastle. You remember that one movie, Gold Dream? Yeah, that's pretty much them. And by that, I mean literally they are about to sign a young Mexican named Santiago Munoz. <laughs> it's actually insane. So uh, if you if you haven't seen the movie, go ahead, watch Gold the Dream Begins, don't watch Gold 2, and I'm probably playing exactly the same. And there are some other interesting teams like Wolves and Crystal Palace are, are fun to watch, but honestly, all the other teams are muggles, bro. You as America, you want winners. You want a team that wants to win. And yes, let's <laughs> prove that sometimes rooting for the small team can get you that absolute glory. 
But are you really going to waste your first opportunity to pick the sports team you follow on a 1 in 5,000 chance that this scrub team just turns into a miracle? Like, if that's what you want, I mean, do you, boo. But if you decide to follow Bradford and they get their ass relegated, good luck finding second division football on American television. So my humble opinion, go top six. And even beyond that, probably don't See, go to Spurs, Arsenal, or even Manchester United. Good luck finding second division football on American television. So my humble opinion... Go top six. See? I guess these are the six uh, popular teams. Yeah, they're the, they're the top six of the, of the most popular teams. Uh, Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool, and you got the Spurs. So. Mm -hmm. Spurs and even beyond that, Lewis. probably don't go Spurs, Arsenal, or even Manchester United. <laughs> All right, so hopefully I have sorted you into your proper Hogwarts house. But I, I get it. There's still some issues here. You're still probably clueless. Like, you well, know, everything. you could fall into back of the net. I remember that dude, yo. He was so irritating, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but much like any sport, it's the nuances. It's the accoutrement that's the good stuff. That's where the real flavor is. So how do you learn all that? How do you learn the rules? And what the fuck is a table? And to that, and I'm not kidding here when I say this, I think you should play FIFA. <laughs> not Ultimate Team. Not Ultimate Team. F***ing hell. Do not, do not, do not play Ultimate Team. That is mental heroin. It will take all of your money and ruin your life. But crew mode in FIFA 21, this year's iteration is excellent. It's it's the best that it's been in a decade. And when this comes out, FIFA 22 is gonna be right around the corner at the end of September, which means FIFA 21 is probably gonna be free on some subscription service you got, or it's gonna be in the bargain bin. And you know how sports games are. Just pick up FIFA 21, update the roster, and it'll probably be as good as FIFA 22, Ooh. if not better. And from there, you can try playing with a couple of the big teams. See if there are any players that call to you, resonate with you. And if you've ever enjoyed bro, the franchise get modes there, in like Madden what, or 2 We gotta get FIFA 2. I gotta yeah, yeah, put it with 2K. Why, wow, yo? Cause man, I be seeing like people playing it look like they be having fun playing it, I do bro. see a lot of people play FIFA though. Yeah, man. We gotta get FIFA. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rock out with FIFA this we year. We gonna rock out with FIFA this year? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay, you'll be right at home here. I used to be a diehard Madden franchise guy until I found FIFA career mode. And honestly, that's kind of what got me into the sport. <laughs> like, the recruitment was just better than Madden. And honestly, playing through a season will, will, will teach you almost everything you need to know. From transfers to formations to who the fuck is this Mbappe guy? Why is he so OP? What the fuck? And also, do not feel obligated to play every game. Just sim a shit ton. That's what I do. And have no fear. If you sim it and you don't get the results that you want, you just reload the save and sim again. Like the <laughs> scumbag you are. <laughs> don't act like you don't do it. Shut up. You do it too. Don't look at me that way. <laughs> but the main reason why I think you should play career mode is it'll give you the most intuitive understanding of the table, which is probably the biggest departure away from American sports. Now, Americans, you're going to want to hold on to your butts for this one. This is a tough pill to swallow, but the Premier League does not have a playoff system. I know. What the fuck, right? Oh, yeah, we the playoffs know that. are always the best part of any sport. But they do have this intriguing trade-off here. Check this out. So they just play 38 games, and whoever has the most points at the end of 38 games we know that. wins the league. Okay. You get three points for a win, you get one point for a draw, and then you get zero points for a loss. Obvi. And what this creates is kind of like the same thing you get with a college football season, where every game in the regular season actually matters. Great. Because the slip-up of any of the big teams could spell disaster for their title hopes. And that's exactly what it is in the Premier League. A loss or even a draw from a big team is devastating because the other big teams rarely drop points. Mm. And even better than a college football season, there are multiple things to fight for, not just who wins the whole goddamn thing. So even if there is like a runaway winner, there's always like a race for the top four positions, which are the only positions that get to go into the Champions League. And for those who are disappointed that there are no playoffs, well, let's talk about the Champions League because this is pretty much their version of the playoffs and kind of on steroids <laughs> because the Champions League isn't just English teams. It's actually like the wizard tournament from Goblet of Fire. It takes all of the best teams from all the other wow. European leagues and puts them into a tournament arc. So all the yeah, big name teams that. that you've heard of, the Barcelonas, the Real Madrid, the Juventuses, they're gonna be in this tournament. And if you're lucky enough, your team might actually play them. And it runs simultaneously throughout their regular season. So you're gonna be getting wow. even more sports goodness throughout the year. And it's usually midweek. So on Thursday nights, when I got NFL football and Champions League, I feel spoiled for choice. Mm. If the Thursday games weren't always shit. Like, what the fuck, NFL? 
It's so bad. And what's dope about the Champions League is you can even pull a Chelsea. Chelsea's actually done this twice, where they actually sucked it up in the Premier League, but they got hot and won the whole goddamn Champions League. Mm. And that is what being a fan of the Premier League kind of gives you. Constant targets to aim for, even if your season isn't going as planned. And that's how soccer leagues make even a tie interesting. Because mm. nearly every team is competing for something at every point in the season. Obviously, the big teams are trying to win the league, but then there's a bunch trying to qualify for the Champions League spots. And then on the flip side, you usually got, you know, anywhere from six to eight teams that are being threatened to be relegated. Oh, and also there's like this mm. little brother version of the Champions League called Europa, but no one gives a shit about that. Think of it <laughs> as like the fantastic beast. Series. Like the uh, Marsh Madness and the NIT tournament. Yep. <laughs> oh so God. the Champions League is like the Marsh Madness, bro. Yeah. The big tournament you play. You got your Cinderella team, your Cinderella story team. Yeah, your relegated family. teams that's going to come up. And for, the, for that team to bro. come up from another league and then win the whole thing, just imagine being that type of fan, a fan of that team. Bro, that's I got crazy, a crazy, crazy, crazy question for y'all. Please ask this. Say if you about to get relegated mm -hmm. and y'all just pull some Cinderella story when the, when the championship league, right. do you still get relegated? I don't know. That's crazy, right? <laughs> like, that's know. wild. Or do y'all probably, they probably do it to where it's though, if you about to get relegated, you going to get relegated regardless because mm -hmm. that's not even in our league no more. I think, I think when they, if, 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 if a team get relegated or a team move up, they move up to the Premier League for that season. Mm -hmm. And they there for the whole season. Yeah, no, I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure the Champions League is at the end of the season. Yeah. So if you get threatened to be, because like he said, teams get threatened mm -hmm. to be relegated right. or get dropped down. Right. If they go in the Champions League and win the whole thing, they very popular. Do you go to that program and be like, hey, man, y'all did y'all thing. We need y'all back up. Oh, I don't know. See, you that's, that's wild, question. right? That's like, a tough question. Like, it's like, yo, we got another chance. Right. Like, you feel me? I don't oh, know. No. That's, that's definitely wild, man. Go Series. It's okay, but not quite as good as the real thing. But all right, now you understand the game. You picked your team, but how do you even watch your team live? Well, if you did decide on one of the big teams, you probably can watch them live on one of the NBC networks. But more conveniently, and this is what I do, you could just pay $5 a month and get Peacock. I know it's Peacock, but <laughs> it's only 5 bucks. And what it allows you to do is stream every single Premier League game the entire season. And when you compare that to the like, NFL Sunday ticket, which is $300, <laughs> yeah, five bucks a month, a goddamn steal. Now, here's a little tough part, guys. If you're on the West Coast, it, it could be hard sometimes. Some of the games, if you wanna watch them live, are, are gonna be at, you know, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., but, you know, 80% of the games will be at a decent hour. And East Coast, it's almost never an issue. But if you don't feel like waking up at like 4 a.m. or if you're just a busy person and can't catch every game live, you know what to do. You can just get the highlights off of YouTube or Instagram. Mm -hmm. And also, this is yet another reason why you want to at least follow an entertaining or attacking team. Because let me tell you, waking up at 4 a.m. to watch your team draw nil-nil, not it. Mm. Not it, bro. Mm. Not fun. And that's going to be about it. I know this is like a, a, a lot of information to take in. So my best advice is, is really take it slow, play career mode, check out a couple of different teams. And you don't really got to worry about all the rules like handball and all sides and shit. Because now with VAR, they, they pause the game and they explain everything with instant replay. Mm. Just like in American sports. Good job, Britain. You finally <laughs> caught up. Be interested in a clueless Europeans guide to the NFL. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that, that might be a video for another day. As you did enjoy this one, go ahead, smush your nipple into the like button. It really helps me <laughs> on this godforsaken algorithm. Because YouTube has goddamn striked every single video that I put out. This video will probably be re-uploaded as well. But yeah, if you'd like to help me out, please go ahead and join all these wonderful Patronos who are keeping me alive while YouTube is trying to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> for a dollar a month, you'll be really helping me out, get these videos out sooner. We're also doing exclusive content over there. And yeah, I got uh, other ideas coming down the road. Uh, I'm thinking of turning this into a, a clueless guide series, if you will, and maybe even expanding it to different stuff. Like it, it's not just only sports, but maybe I do a clueless guide to anime. Or if you guys have any other suggestions you want a clueless Americans guide on, leave it in the comments down below. And that is going to be it for me, Be Modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Or stay yourself, stay humble. Until next time, boys, stay thick. What you guys say, man? That dude got issues. <laughs>
<laughs> he explained it right, but the dude who made that video, he's he's got issues. But he, he what you think he explained it like? He explained it fully through and through. He broke it down. Yeah, so he broke um, it down. For me to fully get it though, like everything, like he said, like mm. I'm more so of a person that gotta play a game, yes, like sir. or or just gotta consistently like watch it. And lately, right. I'm not even gonna lie, I've been like. In love with like football, like mm-hmm. I know bad offense, I know mm-hmm. bad, I mean, good offense. I'm more so of an entertaining person. We seen the ticker talker, feel me? It, we say it's Everything. a lot of things we say, bro. So it's, it, it's getting to a point I'm able to pick and choose what I actually like in football, bro. Right. You feel me? And me understanding the fans, you feel me? It's I love the information I'm learning, bro. But right now, I definitely can't pick a what is it, Premier, Premier, uh, right? Premier League. Yeah, Premier, I, Premier League team. Yeah, I gotta get more into it. I can't pick one yet, bro. Yeah. I don't got one. But the fans in Arsenal, mm-hmm. y'all lit though. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as me, my club is Real Madrid. Through and through. Now, I don't think they're a Premier t- a League team though. Uh, who cares about the Premier League? <laughs> I love if it. it ain't Real Madrid. It ain't football. <laughs> we the ones that started this. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, but um, as far as, you know, the information that was just given to me, I retained it well. So, you know, it's just it's just more for me to learn. More for me to learn about the sport. More for me to learn about the game. Gotcha. And, you know, I just want the love just to keep growing. Because I definitely got love for this now. I definitely like yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely like it. So, if, it's like if I play FIFA. Yeah. It's going to be more entertaining to me if I just was the, just a play right. a couple of months ago and be like, yo, what the hell is this? Right. <laughs> you feel me? It's just going to be different. So, look, man, this was a highly requested video. I right. hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know y'all enjoyed the dude on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely know y'all enjoyed him. So, if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Man, I told y'all I'm Kid Dustin. And I'm Mookie Dustin. And we out, baby. One.